Welcome to the MGH Institute of Health Professionals tutorial for using the AMA Manual of Style. As IHP students or employees, you have access to the manual online. This tutorial will show you how to quickly get to the most frequently used sections of the manual. The American Medical Association style is another writing and citation style like APA or MLA. The manual is often used by people who are submitting an article to a scholarly medical journal. It explains how to format your article and references, and even what grammar and punctuation styles to follow. Here at IHP, many faculty request that their students use this style for their academic papers. To get to the manual from the library resources page, first click on the citations and writing link in the navigation menu. You will see that the link to the manual is at the top of this center box. The username and password to log in are here as well and will not be blurred out when you go there. Alternatively, if you can remember the username and password, it's possible to go directly to the website at www.amamanualofstyle.com and log in from the link on the top bar. Clicking the link to the manual will open the site in a new tab. The username and password presented on the previous page are meant to be used here in the subscriber login. You must input the username and password in order to access all of the manual's content. Once you've logged in, it will now say MGH Institute of Health Professions in this box here. That's how you know you can access all of the content. Now once you're here, there are two different ways to find what you need. You can browse or you can search. The table of contents is an excellent feature for browsing. I'm going to click on the contents link so we can see what the table of contents looks like. There are five sections in all, and each section is divided into chapters. You would use the table of contents if you're just browsing and want to see all of the chapters, or if you know exactly what chapter you want. For instance, let's say that you are using the manual because you need to know how to format a citation for a list of references. Assuming that you are using the manual to determine how to format your citations, you will want to find your way to section 1, chapter 3, which is all about the appropriate style for references. Now we have an even more in-depth table of contents specifically for 1.3. From here, you can choose the type of resource that you need to know how to cite. Uh, perhaps you use Micromedics and you need to cite it. Micromedics is an electronic reference, so I need section 3.15. You would find databases in this list and click through. Also notice that the contents are now in the left sidebar, making it easy to navigate through the manual section by section and chapter by chapter. For instance, if you needed to know how to cite a print book, you could use the sidebar to locate the appropriate section instead of going back to the previous page. As you move through the manual, the site actually logs what pages you visit up here in the My Content button so that you can quickly go back to pages you have already visited. Furthermore, at any point you can download an entire chapter as a PDF in case you need to take it with you and read it without internet access. What if, however, you aren't really sure where you want to be or you're not sure what section of the manual you need? In that case, you would want to search using keywords. There is a basic search and an advanced search. First, I will show you how to use the basic search. For instance, I'm interested in what the manual has to say on the topic of copyright. Copyright is my keyword. I've typed it into the search box. And now I'll hit enter to see the results. There are 42 search results. Fortunately, the site makes it fairly easy to filter and narrow down the results. If I only wanted results from Chapter 5, Ethical and Legal Considerations, I could click on the heading over here, and that will give me 31 results, as was indicated in the parentheses. I can also narrow it down further. I have decided that I only want results from 5.6, Intellectual Property. The search function also makes it possible to keyword search within your results. I want only those results out of these 17 that contain the keyword permissions. Now my results have been narrowed down to 10. I think that 10 is a reasonable number of results to explore, so I'm going to stop narrowing my search down. 
this top result looks good. I think I'll click on the title. And the search result takes me right there to that section of the manual. The site keeps track of your search strategy here at the top, and you can uh, delete different sections of your search strategy to change your results as well. If I delete permissions, it removes that narrowing down of the results, and now I'm back to 17 instead of 10. Now, there's also an advanced search, which can be very efficient if you have a good idea what it is you're looking for. You can put in as many keywords as you like, and you can even specify where you want the search engine to search for those words. I'm going to use some of the keywords from our previous search to demonstrate. This time, using multiple keywords, I now only have five items to search through. The results page looks exactly the same as the results page for basic search but with one added feature, which is modify search right here, and that will take me back to my original search and I can change the words or add more or remove some as I need to. And just as the site keeps track of the pages you visit here, it also keeps track of your searches right next to it so that you can easily return to an earlier search that you performed. So those are the best ways of locating what you need in this manual. There is one more way that is optional in that you need a personal profile. If you register for an individual account, you can bookmark sections and easily get back to them at a later date. You can also save your searches and make annotations. To bookmark a page, just click on this save icon right here on whichever page you want to bookmark. To annotate part of the text, just highlight the section that you wish to make a note for. Click annotate and a box will type up where you can type your comments or your notes and just hit save. All of your saved searches, content, and annotations can be easily retrieved by clicking on the My Work link in the top right corner. If you find yourself referring to the manual often, it's worth taking the extra steps to register. Just remember to use the subscriber login first, then log into your personal profile. Thank you for using this library tutorial. As always, if you have additional questions or need further assistance, please send us an email at librarian at mghihp.edu.